welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yaritza and I'm so excited that you're here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the beautiful town of Loisa in Puerto Rico. Okay, so this is the second installment of my Puerto Rico travel series. If you don't know, I went to Puerto Rico last month and I was there for almost a week or six days actually. I already released one video in my Puerto Rico series and that was my full day itinerary in Old San Juan and how I lost my ID before even setting foot in Puerto Rico and how I got back to the US without an ID. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it up here for you guys so you can check it out. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about Loisa. Loisa is located about 20 minutes right outside of Old San Juan and it's known as the capital of the traditions because of its bomba music and rich traditions. There's definitely a lot to do in Loisa but the main reason I went there is because I wanted to take a bomba class. So what is bomba? Bomba is the traditional dance of Puerto Rico. It was born from the slaves that were in the island. It's rich with history. It's a movement. It's a feeling. It's a, a combination of like the dancer making up the beat with the the drummer, El Primo. When I went to Puerto Rico, I hadn't been there in 14 years. I knew that taking a bomba class was definitely something that I wanted to do. So I went searching on the internet and found Taller Nenzambi. Taller Nenzambi is run by Chela Osario. I will link her Instagram down in the description below. She holds classes for the locals and also for tourist groups. So definitely reach out to you if this is something that you're interested in doing. I 100% recommend it. I love that her class she holds it at the beach which is a beautiful beach by the way and the reason why she does it she gives you a little bit of history at the beginning of the class as well like where does Bomba come from why did we do it why do we keep practicing this tradition and why it continues to live on in Puerto Rico one of the reasons she says she does it at the beach and is because that's how they used to do it back in the day like that's how the ancestors used to do it they used to do it at the beach and they used to do it barefoot so that's how she teaches her classes it was just amazing so we had of course a beautiful location and then open air which is perfect for right now as well for covid you have the bomberos which are the guys on the on the drums but i loved it because she ran through beats or dances within bomba and i was just very grateful to be there um to be barefooted like feel connected to my history culture ancestors and to partake in this class the bidet is like the circle where you go into like do your dance and even though I feel like I don't know what I'm doing I felt comfortable actually I really felt comfortable I just let the beat move me Afterwards, there's a restaurant right there so you can get drinks you can get food you can bring your bathing suit and get into the beach afterwards right next to it it's like the river I think it's Rio Grande where it ends and it meets the beach so it's a beautiful place to go for a swim took some beautiful pictures and that was our day in Loisa well that was the beginning of our day in Loisa because after that we visited the El Bate de los Hermanos Ayala. It's a family that's been around for a couple generations that keeps the culture, the tradition of Bomba alive and also their artists. We're able to visit their store where they have the Vejigante masks. Those masks are very traditional. They have a uh, La Fiesta Patronales, which is like a festival, like a street festival every year. And they're very popular and used specifically for that festival. And they're made out of like coconut shell and you can buy them there as well if you want to. La señora that greeted us, she was so welcoming and warm. We had a conversation with her. She told us that the painting on the wall was painted by her father in the 50s or the 40s. It's a really small location, but you have to visit it 
if you go to Loiza. And then also down the road, there is an art studio. Estudio de Arte de Samuel Lind, and he's also an artist. He has paintings and sculptures, and you can go visit it just to like see the paintings or talk to him about buying one of the paintings and stuff like that. And that was basically our time in Loisa. We drove down to Calle because we were staying in Patillas, which is the video coming up uh, next. It's a town that my family is from. So on our way to Patillas, we went to Calle. Guavate has the Lechon Highway is what it's called because there's so many restaurants to get some Lechon. <laughs> if you go to Puerto Rico, you have to get some Lechon from Guavate. They have, during the weekends, they have a lot of vendors. You can buy all your souvenirs, your flags, anything that you want to bring back with you to the state. They also have live music, people dancing. We had some Lechon, arroz con gandule, and yuca. My husband had a medalla and I had a malta and it was just like mm, so good like just thinking about it i want to go back just to like have the food actually i just want to go back to puerto rico i wish i could go like every week it's so good and that is basically it you guys this is like another thing that you can do if you go to puerto rico visit loisa visit guavate and i'll put all the information in the description below next week there will be another video and i'm going to be talking more about patillas which is the smaller town on the southeast part of the island where my family is from and i'm so excited to share that town with you guys as well make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it out and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave me in the comments like have you ever heard of bomba will you participate in bomba if you had the opportunity to and you know, when you travel, do you like like learning about the local traditions and culture? Because I feel like that's one of my favorite things about traveling, even though I don't do it as much. But as always, you guys, I love you. Stay safe and I'll see you in another video.